Hello and welcome to the introduction video for the Path to DevOps series. I'm Shiki and in this video I plan to talk about this series and explain what the target audience is and what we plan to do here. So if you're interested, let's jump right into the presentation. In order to answer the question on the screen, I will ask for my friend Sebastian's help. Say hello to Sebastian. He's surrounded by question marks because he would like to start his DevOps career, but he doesn't know where. He read a little bit online and found a lot of buzzwords like cloud provider, CICD, infrastructure as code, containers, Docker, Kubernetes, but it still made no sense to him. He wanted some real life scenario. He wanted something applicable. Well, this is exactly what Path to DevOps aims to solve. It's supposed to be an exercise where we go through the real life responsibilities of DevOps engineers. We will use a mock sample of applications and put them through the whole DevOps process. Does this sound fine? Well, it should. Not to mention that we will go through all of these technologies in a way that they make sense. Uh, they will be building on top of one another and it will be a follow along type of series. Uh, because the applications I will be using to demo are actually present on my GitHub account, which is linked down below in the description. So if you want to follow along, just download these applications and follow the other videos on this channel. The final thing I would like to mention is the main stack of technologies we will use throughout this program. And some of them appear here in this diagram. Others will meet them as we progress through the videos. But basically the point is that DevOps is an extension of the development process in itself. So we need an application in order to apply DevOps principles on top of it. And we have the three microservices in my GitHub account uh, linked in the description once more in case you missed the first shout out. So once we download those applications from my GitHub account, we will be creating an Azure DevOps organization and moving them into Azure repos Git. And the reason we will do that is because Azure DevOps wants to be this full software development solution and it has a lot of free technologies we could use. So I figure it would benefit you guys to go through that platform and play with what it has to offer. Once the applications are in Azure repos Git, we will be automating their build processes and deployment processes using Azure pipelines and the target infrastructure to host our artifacts and to host the running applications will be situated in Azure Cloud. It's basically Azure Container Registry and Azure Kubernetes Service. And on top of this big technologies, we also have Terraform, which will automate that infrastructure. We will use a bit of PowerShell scripting. Uh, we might use Helm for deploying to Kubernetes. It depends on how this whole series evolves organically. So if this sounds interesting to you, jump to the other videos and let's get started. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.